Yes, ladies and gentlemen, off we go. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're doing well, mate. I really do hope that, genuinely. Welcome back to the studio and to Chelsea News, of which there's so, so much to talk about. Oh, despite Lotaro saying yes to Pochettino, of course, personal terms weren't agreed and we hadn't even begun negotiations with Inter, looks like Chelsea have activated the clause for young striker Nicola Jackson. We're going to look at him and look at his stats a little bit closer to make you feel more confident about this move. Chelsea, regarding Inter, seemingly pulling out of the Andre or Nana race. Very interesting indeed. We're going to learn about that also. And, of course, more Saudi sensational madness. Chelsea have six players. That's right. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six players. Joueurs. I believe, uh, linked with a move to Saudi Arabia. Make sure you keep it locked to Football Therapy, but I am delighted to tell you that this video is brought to you by One Football, my partner, the totally, wait for it, free companion app. That's right, the really important word is three. Not from the number three, free. free. <laughs> As in, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, I use it all the time on my phone, um, in between watching my videos and other people's. Should you want to, check out One Football on your phone or any device. Check it out by simply, simply clicking the link at the top of the description or scanning the QR code in the corner at any point in this video. Uh, check out One Football now. Do yourself the favor, it's totally free. And it's the best. So much to get into. So let's start off with um, Saudi. Then we'll talk about Andre Anana and then Nicholas or Nicola Jackson. I'm sorry, Ms. Jackson. Ooh. Okay, so Fabrizio Romano is tweeting this. Al Nasser are advancing in talks to sign Hakim Ziyech from Chelsea. Confirmed. So negotiations are underway as called by foot. Mercato, more more of blah, 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 more from them in a moment. Player open to discuss promo, pro, proposal made. Chelsea expect final bids from Saudi clubs for Ziyech and Aubameyang too. Um, I think Ziyech will go for this. Despite being 29, I just feel like he'll be interested in securing the bag at this point. And I also think he will still get the call up for Morocco despite playing in the Saudi league. He's slight of frame in a lesser ranked league, having the opportunity to just show his ability on the ball. I think it might tempt him. This will be one of the more interesting Saudi transfers because he is under 30, I, I believe still. Uh, and generally they've been going for over 30. So, good. We will we'll elaborate a little bit more in just a second. But Mercato, the aforementioned, also now talking about Edouard Mundi, are in the sights of Al Ali. Now, context: these are all different clubs. The PIF, uh, the Public Investment Fund um, of Saudi Arabia, which is related to like you know the state essentially, they've got billions to invest into the league over the next two years. And I believe it's the top four clubs in the top division and a few clubs in the second division. So the top four essentially are getting financially juiced and loads of respective stars. High profiles, players who know about Ziyech, you know, Morocco did really well. He won the Champions League with Chelsea. Players will know about Edouard Mandi, who have, of course, won the Champions League in AFCON. Uh, it's still relatively young for a goalkeeper. High profile, won FIFA best, you know, goalkeeper of the year. In terms of all these players that are fleeing to Saudi Arabia for the bag, um, he's pretty much the highest, you know, well, he's certainly the only high profile goalkeeper I've heard of as of yet. Maybe there's a one, another one, but certainly the youngest. In recent days, we revealed that Saudi Arabia won to sign Riyad Mahrez. Um, the Al Ahli club uh, just promoted to Saudi D1. Oh, interesting. So maybe it isn't the top four. I heard it was the top four from a podcast. They're offering um, Mandi a three-year contract. Um, oh, sorry, this is for Riyad Mahrez. But, of course, also they're looking at Edouard Mandi. First contacts have already been established, currently in the colours of Chelsea. The 31-year-old Senegalese um, could take up a new challenge. Chasing the bag. Edouard Mandi will be very, very aware he is now in his 30s and still gets paid less than Kepa Rita Balaga, despite being a Champions League winning goalkeeper. This is an opportunity for him to make a lot 
a lot, a lot of money. Again, we talk about the Hollywood story or the feel-good story of Mundy's, you know, he was at the job centre two weeks ago and now he's a Champions League and AFCON winner. He could just basically make profound amounts of money. He knows he's not going to start for Chelsea. Much like Hakim Ziyech, he will still get the call up for Senegal as far as I'm concerned. I don't know another goalkeeper. You know, he'll still be playing for his country. Both these players, I think, are high profile enough in their respective teams to still get the call up. So let's talk about this. Six players from in that are on the books from Chelsea have been linked to Saudi. I have geopolitical sports washing concerns about these movements. And whether it's the, you know, the World Cup in Qatar, I don't think, you know, I didn't want Saudi media group to buy Chelsea. This is my own opinion. I respect everyone else's, respect mine. Of course, as a Chelsea fan, the idea of a state coming in and clearing us all of our deadwood and giving us a load of money, we're all conflicted people. It makes me think, ruddy heck. That'll make things a lot easier. So the six players are as follows. N'Golo Kante, who of course looks like he's already gone. Um, Romelu Lukaku, who's been on the fence, who generally um, wants to go back to Inter, but I think maybe if he can't, the money might talk. Another striker, Aubameyang. Uh, that makes it free. He, of course, is mid-30s. It looks likely that he could go. I don't think Barca will have him. And, of course, um, yeah, I just don't think they will. Uh, Koulibaly, um, who uh, has been linked again into my go, but he, he's been linked with their approaching him. Ziyech and Mendy. Ooh, like a train or a plane outside. That is six... Not a train. I don't live near any train tracks. That would be strange if there was a train outside. Six Chelsea players been linked with a move to the Saudi Pro League, that, my friends, is a lot of players and potentially a lot of money for Chelsea. We talk about, oh, we've got to sell within the league. And maybe we do. Our young, high-profile players, Kovacic, um, Kovacic Havertz, Mason Mann, um, Gallagher, probably all be sold within the Premier League. We're hoping the likes of Pulisic and Ruben Loftus-Cheek goes to Serie A and does well. Good luck to them. Best of luck. Pulisic scored two goals in what was a mental derby game, by the way, between USA and Mexico. I didn't speak about that before, but I've only just watched the highlights last night. And ruddy horror! It was a mental game. And I thought, ah, oh, these MLS wussies. What are these yellow cards and red cards? They're probably about, you know, these MLS wussies. I watched it and I was like, oh dear God. <laughs> Like everyone would get sent off in the prem. Uh, yeah, shout out to the to the derby, Mexico USA, always tasty indeed. So yeah, lots to Saudi, some to the Premier League, and of course, um, some to City and and Europe. Uh, we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about Nicholas Jackson. Show you some interesting stats that might expand your mind, man. But first, let's find out what's going on with Andre Onana. Nizar Kinsella of the Evening Standard is writes these two following articles. Getting he's clearly well informed on Chelsea at the moment. Chelsea have stepped, have end, ended, ended our interest in Andre Onana, who was in, who was happy to, uh, well, so say if the headlines that we reacted to was happy to join Chelsea. The Blues are keen to say, also Chelsea have ended their interest in Inter Milan goalkeeper Andre Onana. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. The Blues are keen to sign a new goalkeeper this summer with Keparita Balaga and Eduard Mundi set to leave uh, and first held talks with Inter in April over a deal. So there you go. Chelsea have long been trying to get under another and the player was happy to join Chelsea and Chelsea do want to sell both their starting goalkeepers. We will keep Marcus Bettinelli as a third choice. Maybe, maybe Gaga Slanina gets the second goalkeeper spot. Alone would probably do him better. Kepa will be hard to flog. We'll see what happens there. Mendy, maybe off to Saudi, like we've just spoken about. However, Chelsea will now move to other goal, uh, targets, leaving Manchester United favourites to sign uh, the goalkeeper for about 50 million. <clears throat> now, I have no idea who this brother is, so excuse the pronunciation. Mama Dashvili is thought to be Chelsea's second choice target. While there was interest in Milan for France number one, Mike Mignon, but the club were put off by his 80 million pound asking price. As was I, ladies and gentlemen. I love Big Mike, but not for 80 million. Onana could be reunited with his former manager, of course, Eric Ten Hag. 
at uh you know thingy and then De Gea might go to Saudi as well but we don't care about that who so who the ruddy heck is Mama de I'm gonna quickly look and then we're gonna talk about my computer doesn't work and then we're gonna talk about Nicholas Jackson right he is a 22 year old Georgian goalkeeper and he plays for Valencia more to follow on that geezer later if it comes to pass right let's talk about strikers baby and this Arkansella continues uh, if you've got it this far by the way what a, just a quick reminder to thank you for joining me and ask you to like and subscribe and should you choose to subscribe hit the sweet sweet bell thank you thank you for that Naz writes, Chelsea hope to complete the £30 million deal for Villarreal striker Nicholas Jackson in the coming days. And Fabrizio Romano has since reported that Chelsea have activated the release clause for this young striker. And exclusively revealed by Standard Sport this week, the Blues are working hard on the deal for the 21-year-old after face-to-face -face negotiations and an agreement, personal terms, near. Chelsea are acting quickly to secure... Uh, the Senegal after he was targeted by both Milan and Villa while the caliber of clubs interested continued to increase after Jackson scored nine goals in his final eight La Liga games of the season. Pause. I did speak about this and I expressed my concerns about how this is unsustainable running hot in terms of overperformance. I referenced uh, Miguel Almiron in the beginning of the season. You can see statistically when certain players are running hot, and if they are running hot, it's not a sustainable thing. Like, for example, Haaland isn't running hot. He just always scores a lot of goals. Uh, Jackson represents a cheaper option than both Napoli star Victor Osimhen and Atalanta youngster Rasmus Hoyland, who is remains of interest. Although United, uh, Manchester United might go for Rasmus. Incoming, Maurizio Pochettino has backed the club's plan to sign a striker, midfielder, and goalkeeper. Talks over signing Jackson remains ongoing alongside negotiations for key midfield target. Moises Caicedo, of course, reportedly, he has said yes to Chelsea. Brian want close to 100 million for the Ecuador international, who is the same agent as Jackson. Ooh, mate, you are. If we pay 100 million for Moises Caicedo, I want him. Ideal partner for Enzo Fernandez. But if we pay a hundred million for this brother, I just, I'm just don't know anymore. I just worry, man. Alternative, like, uh, by the way, this is why, like, Everton's uh, Amadou Onana and Southampton's Romeo Lavia are discussed. Like, Romeo Lavia, loads of big clubs want him. Clearly, he's a great player. I love Amadou Onana. I've said this for long things, man. I've said it on Instagram lives and stuff a bunch of times. If you want to follow me at Football Yannick on Instagram, I do a lot of interactive stuff there. I think Amadou Onana is an absolute baller and is a proper Premier League player. Plus, he gets amongst it. He looks like a Chelsea player to me. And he's got an eye for goal. If we signed him, some people might be underwhelmed. I would not be. Depending on how much we pay for him. You know, just depends. So, like, let me explain my biggest qualm with Nicholas Jackson. Oh, I am for real. Because he's so young. And we have Amanda Breuer, who's highly rated by the club. We reference he's going to be training with the under-21s to get started and ready for pre-season. They're both, like, similar age. I wanted this, like, senior striker. But maybe Chelsea are okay with having two youngish strikers going at each other and pushing each other. Now, this is something I wanted to show you from Understat. It's a metrics comparison from Armando Breuer and Nicholas Jackson. Now, Broya seemingly in the mud at the moment, but context is required. So this is like the last sort of year's worth of minutes. The last 256 minutes Broya's played, which I guess would be for Southampton, I guess. And of course, Nicholas Jackson for Villarreal in La Liga. Now, he obviously dwarfs Breuer in every metrics, except maybe shots per 90, where they're very, very similar. But, you know, minutes to productivity, Jackson is soaring here. Um, key passes per 90. 1.28 key passes per 90 is proper naughty for a striker, by the way. Um, you know, 0 0.61 goals per 90 as well for a youngster. That's better than one one goal in two. Um, 
and they will, Chelsea will look at him and think, right, there is a striker there to be developed. Yes, I will say now, this is unfair on Bria, I think, because if the sample size is taken from whatever that crap show was at Southampton, in terms of that big, big uh, minutes uh, sample, because obviously it's a bigger sample than Nicholas Jackson, it's unfair on Bria. Though, and we do like, you know, behind the scenes, Chelsea think Bria is mental, but that isn't really good. But maybe for £30 million, and in fact, it's just under £30 million. It's like 29 point something million pounds. Maybe I'm coming around to Nicola Jackson. Ooh. Um, yeah, man. Maybe. So I wanted to show you that. Lots happening. Massive links to Saudi ex exits. To many, many a player. We step away from Unana. And we might sign... Well, it looks like we've got to sign Nicholas Jackson, which... I mean, it's... Okay, let's think about the stri the recent signings that we're happy with. Benoit Badiashiel. It's like 30 million. Ding! Noni Madaweke. Under 30 million. Ding! You know, like, these are feeling good. Like, young players to develop the profile. Yes, with, like, an elite gunman. But there is also this element of Chelsea don't score goals because they're bad as a team. And Cuckoo will score goals. Right, and then Pochettino will find a way to get the whole team scoring goals. A fully fit Ben Chilwell and Rhys James. Guess what? If we can sort out our medical team, both of them can score goals. If we get someone to sit a little bit deeper than Enzo Fernandez, like a Caicedo or someone, Enzo can get closer to goal and affect the game. Mate, let me know what you think. I'm very, very interested in the fan opinion on this. This is uh, lots and lots happening. Of course, I'm going to keep... Uh, uploading as quick as I can to the stories that are relevant and popping off. Uh, do go check out one football if you want the news in between. Click the link in the top of the description. I will see you very soon. Au revoir.